Almighty grace and blessing being upon you. May the divine blessing of the Almighty bestow upon you this week and help you achieve great success. As you walk out for the new week, may the blessing and mercy of God always be with you. May you achieve greater things. May it help you to differentiate between good and bad. In Jesus' name, Amen. Good morning. Happy New Day. Happy New Week. Happy Monday, March 27, 2023. This is Love Word, taking you open heaven, a guide to a close fellowship with God. In our custom, let's say, Hallelujah. Alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia is an every language. Alleluia song, we never cease for our mouth in Jesus' name. Amen. The topic before this morning is your later end shall be greater than your beginning. Your later end shall be greater than your beginning. Our memory first shall be found in the book of Ecclesiastes 7 verse 8. I read, Better is the end of a thing than the beginning therefore, and the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning therefore, and the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. In order of importance, your later end is far more important than your beginning. It does not really matter how you started out. What matters is how you end up. How you end up is not a function of wishful thinking, but a product of decision and action that you have taken today. There are steps you must take and sacrifice you must make if you want to become great. Believe me honestly, if you only wish and pray that the thing will turn around and don't do what you ought to do, nothing will change. Solomon, in 2 Chronicles 1 verse 6 to 5, 15, gave an offering nobody has ever gave and God's blessing nobody has ever gotten. It is very clear that if you are willing to pay the price, if you are willing to change your story for the better, your end will be far greater than your beginning. Genesis 32 verse 3 to 7 record that Esau got a remnant of blessing, yet by the time he was in meeting Jacob again, he came with 400 bodyguards. By the time you get to Genesis 33 4 to 9, after both brother as embrace each other, is all turned to Jacob and say, He did not need the letter give because he had enough clay. Esau had gained dominion and broken his brother's yoke on his neck, as the father has said in Genesis 27, verse 40. The lay reader is the lowest rank in hierarchy of the Anglican Church, and this was my father's role in the church many years ago. Today, by the special grace of God, I, the son of Lerida, now walk side by side with the leader of the Anglican Communion, the Archbishop of Canterbury, to re-evangelize Britain. Such a promotion could only have been ordered by God. Below, draw close to God and be cleansed to your hand can be far greater than your beginning. I prophesy into your life today, your later days shall be greater than your beginning in Jesus' name. Amen. Brother, I want us to read the book of Zechariah 4, verse 8 to 10, and Jew 8 to 7. Our Bible in one year, 1 Samuel 17, verse 18. Our hymn is in 20. Stand up, 
stand up for Jesus. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. Our key point for today, what you are doing now will determine if you end up greater than you started out. What you are doing now will determine if you will end up greater than you started out. And I pray God will help you and it will be your guide and shepherd in all ways. In Jesus' name, Amen. Brother, this is Love World. Till I come your way tomorrow, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click on the like button, and share it with your friends and family. And the goodness of God will never leave your life. Have a nice day. Bye for now. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.